about stem cell therapy in the news and in magazines we, we we see this word used a lot but what's really happening to advance this type of therapy well dr. Bill Johnson of innovations medical has just returned from a conference he's here to tell us about some of the latest developments and some of them are really exciting dr. J really some exciting things going on we're talking about using your own fat to get your own stem cells and then giving them back to you for therapeutic reasons, to fix things that we've not been able to fix in the past. Yep. And one of the really important pieces of update is there's more and more research showing that using cells that come from fat are effective in this. That's important because probably the most common question we get is why we're not using bone marrow cells. Okay, yeah, right. And the reason we don't like bone marrow is fat's easier to get. Okay. And we can get much larger numbers. With bone marrow, you typically have to culture the cells to get enough to use. And when you do that, most people have to go outside the country to use them. Right. When we use your fat, we don't have to do that. We don't have to culture them. Okay. And with studies showing that it's effective, we're really feeling better and better about fat all the time. Okay, this is actually a really huge advancement that you're bringing to us today. So once you have those stem cells from fat, uh, not from bone marrow, so how important is it how we use them? Well, the process of getting the cells out of the fat has become really standardized. Mm -hmm. We're getting 50 to 100 million stem cells every time we do it. And so it's no longer a mystery. There's no longer a lot of work going into how to get the cells. Where the, all the work is coming is how do we use the cells once we have them. Okay. And this became more and more apparent that how we use them is critical in the response we get. Just as an example, a year ago when we first started, if someone came in with knee problems, knee and knee replacement, we were going to try and help them. We gave all the stem cells into the knee. Now we give part of the stem cells into the knee and part of the stem cells in the vein because it's been shown that when we use both, we get a more consistent response and a more complete response. Isn't that so we're learning more and more that how we deliver the cells is really critical in how well they work. Okay, so can patients do anything before the deployment to help out that response? Boy, that's in the questions more and more coming up. How do we make the response better? Mm -hmm. And one of the really interesting things that's come from that is that we need a little inflammation to really make this effective and we've got an animation here that shows why because when we cut ourselves or cut our finger what happens is the damaged cells release growth factors and the growth factors are what call the stem cells in and stimulate them to multiply and do the healing so because of that if for instance, you have an arthritic joint and you're on an anti-inflammatory, we now are realizing we need to stop that a few days ahead of time. So we've got a little inflammation in the area and that's going to enhance the ability of stem cells uh -huh. to work. Okay. We're also starting to use some techniques like acoustic wave therapy, which we've used before for cellulite Cellulite, and other things. Right we can produce a little bit of inflammation with that and again producing that little bit of inflammation really enhances the ability to stem cells to target where we're going and then do what we want them to do when they get there okay so this is, you're hopeful that this is going to help with so many different diseases in fact there's been some good advancements that suggest ALS may be benefit from yeah that. I think one of the very most exciting advancements is uh, we now have a neurosurgeon out in California that's placing a port that it goes into the cerebral spinal fluid right around the brain. It's an easy little outpatient procedure. Actually, it takes about 10 minutes to do. Wow. And that allows us to inject the stem cells directly into the fluid around the brain. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're doing it just as a target, but before, by next year, we should be able to use this for patients with ALS, people there's some real hope for yeah. all these people that are getting getting their the ice bucket challenge right. may really help to get some real hope for stem cell work on ALS there's uh, some real good hope for multiple sclerosis Alzheimer's disease Parkinson's disease a lot of these neurologic disorders that previously we've had very few ways of making a real difference okay this is and this is just a year that you've been bringing this to GMT and these advancements are really exciting so obviously one more year is going to yield hope 
hopefully even better results and better uh, after stories as well. Right? We're really, really excited about it. And with all these new changes, we're actually th from now through the end of September, we're going to go back to our introductory price. Right? We we let prices go up, and we're going to go back to our original price at the end of September because we now know some more that we didn't know yeah. a year ago. That's great, Dr. J. Thanks for the update today. And you can learn so much more by visiting innovationsmedical.com, or you can also view more detailed segments in our Dr. J Off Air and the website on YouTube, and uh, you can find all of those videos. And if you want a free consultation, you can call this number in Dallas, 214-420-7970. And over in Fort Worth, it's 817-744-7904.